Hello, today we are going to learn about shapes and forms. My name is Cameron Peterson. I am co-owner of Funhouse Press along with Annette Dubord and I also work here as a, at the museum as an exhibition coordinator. Today we're going to learn about shapes and form and how to make something look a little bit more realistic. But first we'll start off with shapes. What are shapes? They're your basic shapes. So you have your square, you know, circle, triangle. And um, first off, what we'll start, we'll start by playing around with shapes a little bit. And what we can do is let's uh, put the circle here. And without adding any value to it, we can actually create space by just putting a shape behind a shape. And so now you have two different forms of shapes. And then to make even more three-dimensional shapes, you can uh, have another piece, like with a square. You can draw another little square behind it. And then just connect the lines. And now you have a cube. Uh, and I will get to the other pieces soon. So the next thing I want you to do is before we turn these shapes into forms, there are something that there is something that you have to know, and that's value. So what I want you to do on the side of your page is make a very long rectangle, and on the bottom of it, shade it in as dark as you can shade. And so the more you go to the top of this, you make it a little bit lighter, and a little bit lighter, and those seem to match, so I'll make this one just a little bit darker. And so what these are are values. And the reason why I'm having you do this is because on the next step of making forms, you need to understand that you can go from light to dark. And there's, there, there's a reason why this shift needs to be understood. <clears throat> and so for this piece with the ball, the first thing I want you to do is to Try to pick a medium tone and just color the whole thing in with a medium tone. And now before we go any further, we have to establish where the light's coming from. And so we'll say the light's coming from here. And so if the light's coming from here, if you kind of follow your ball and a little croissant shape, you can start darkening it in. And then with an eraser, what you can do is lighten it up where the actual light is coming from. And now with your dark on this side, you don't want to go all the way because with a round object there is often reflective light on the back side of it. And you can actually just take an eraser too and lift that up. Now what you want to do is gradually go from your white spot to your black spot on the in-between areas. And you can see that there's a sphere starting 
to form instead of having just the shape of the circle now you have a ball and to give that ball even a little bit more depth what you can do is with the dark value of your dark value you can start off here and kind of make an elliptical shape and this will be your shadow and you don't want to define it with a line or an edge it just kind of fades out there in an elliptical shape and if your lines get too dark out there you can always bring them in and kind of dull them with an eraser and another way to show depth too is we'll start shading and giving value to this triangle and we can actually to shape wise we can make it into a pyramid if we want And so with this, instead of starting out with a complete mid-tone, we can leave an area white. Let's just leave an area white. And so the light's still coming from this area, or from this source. The light is coming from this source. And just gradually get it darker. And this side of the pyramid, it's going to be really dark just because all the lights hitting it from the front well you can also see here too that I'm just gradually getting it lighter and lighter towards the back of the corner but it will be majorly dark and the bottom will be darker and you just push and pull those tones back and forth and with this you notice I shaded a little bit here this is because we're gonna add a hard shadow there and just start a little bit on the top but it will be and then kinda of branch it off towards the side so it'll, it kind of follows the curve of the ball. You're just extending it out, but then it shows the shadow that it's actually in front of this piece. And here again, too, with your very dark shadow, and it just kind of blends out. to the rest of the piece. And now with the cube, let's see, light's coming this way. So with the cube, this will be your lightest area, and so will your top, because your top's getting hit with some too. And so you can start shading this one a little bit darker. I think I'll make the top just a little bit darker, but it gets lighter. It should get lighter towards this end. And I might even make like a little break in the actual line of my cube just to uh, make it look like the, the light is hitting it really hard right there. And that is how you turn a shape into a form. Thank you and have a good time making art.